There are several types of anesthesia. General anesthesia and local or regional anesthesia, to mention the best known. Hello, Mrs. Shira. Yes? We are your anesthesiologists, and you are in the anesthesia room to be prepared for your operation. Okay. This film has been made to explain regional anesthesia. I would like to verify your identity, family, and first names again. Regional anesthesia is an alternative to general anesthesia. A patient may sometimes choose a particular form of anesthesia. However, for certain types of operations, medical considerations alone are taken into account. Regional anesthesia is preferable in certain medical situations, respiratory deficiency for elderly patients or in cases of full-term pregnancy. There are a variety of regional anesthesias. Spinal or epidural anesthesia, which anesthetizes the lower region of the body. Peripheral nerve block anesthesia. A nerve can be blocked at its trunk level, for example, to anesthetize an entire leg. A nerve can also be blocked at the level of one of its roots to anesthetize a specific part of the leg. My name is Schiffer. I am an anesthesiologist and my orthopedic colleagues have asked me to see you before your right knee operation. That's correct. An arthroscopy. Exactly. We'll go over your medical history together. Regional and general anesthesia are both used to avoid pain and relax the muscles to make the surgeon's work easier. I'd like to go over a few points with you before examining you. Anesthetic risk is relative to the patient and his or her medical problems, as well as the surgery itself. Regional anesthesia side effects are primarily nausea, a rapid decline in blood pressure, or urinary difficulties immediately after the operation. Headaches and respiratory problems may also occur, but this is quite rare. There is no clear proof that regional anesthesia is safer than general anesthesia. In epidural anesthesia, a local anesthetic is injected into the epidural space. A very thin flexible tube known as a catheter is inserted through a needle which is then withdrawn. The catheter remains in place throughout the operation. As with all anesthesia, the anesthesiologist and nurse anesthetist begin by installing an intravenous device, or IV, monitoring heart rate, blood pressure and breathing. Then the anesthesiologist applies a local anesthesia to prepare the injection area. I'm putting the skin to sleep with a small subcutaneous injection. Breathe deeply. Now I'm starting the injection. You will feel a slight unusual sensation before the area goes numb. I'm going to press hard on your back as I begin the epidural. Are you okay? Do you feel anything? I'm fine. Good. Then the anesthesiologist locates the epidural space. You feel a point in your back, but there's no pain, am I right? That's right. I've located the epidural space. Don't move. I'm at the right spot. A flexible catheter is then inserted into the epidural space. You may feel a slight tingling sensation. This catheter may stay in place for several days if necessary to relieve the pain. I'm removing the sterile sheet. You can relax. This form of anesthesia, combined with general anesthesia, is more commonly used in obstetrics and abdominal surgery. Spinal anesthesia consists in the injection of a local anesthetic into the fluid which bathes the spinal cord. Nothing is left in your back once the needle is withdrawn. This type of anesthesia is particularly useful in orthopedic and urologic surgery. I'm going to clean your skin with a rather cold disinfectant. Careful, it's a bit cold. 
Okay? Yes, it's fine. Good. If something isn't right, if you don't feel well or if you feel pain, please tell me. But try not to move so I won't lose the spot. Now I'm going to place a sterile self-adhesive sheet on your back. Will I feel pain during the operation? We will not proceed with the operation if you do not feel comfortable. Regional anesthetic techniques are never 100% sure. We sometimes have to add a general anesthesia. However, whatever happens, you will be comfortable. Hmm. I'm going to palpate your back with my fingers. There. Now I'm injecting the spinal anesthesia. Does it hurt? Do you feel anything? No, it's fine. There will be a feeling of warmth as the operation area grows progressively numb. Then, the entire lower part of your body will progressively grow numb. Your muscles will relax and you will have the impression of muscular weakness. Your spinal anesthesia is done. The lower part of your body, including your legs, will gradually heat up before going completely numb. We will apply hot and cold to test the level of anesthesia. Is everything okay? If everything seems fine, then we will begin surgery, okay? Yes. Good, then let's go. As in all forms of anesthesia, an IV is put in place to administer drugs for complications which may arise during surgery. The anesthesiologist injects local anesthetics close to the nerves in your arm. A nerve stimulator is attached to an injection needle to help locate the nerves. You will feel a slight tingling sensation when the nerve is stimulated and your hand will move a little. Tell me if that hurts. Okay. They are very weak electrical impulses. It doesn't hurt, although it is surprising, because the part of the body being stimulated moves all by itself. We'll place your hand here and wait until it falls asleep. Then you may feel a tingling sensation. Your arm will gradually grow heavy and numb. I'll be back to see if the area has gone numb, and if not, we will start over again. We will not take you into the operating room unless your arm is asleep enough for the surgeon to work and you to remain comfortable. The medical team monitors your body's vital functions just as they do with a general anesthesia. A general anesthesia can be administered along with a regional one, as with this patient. This is called combined anesthesia. Once the operation is over, a number of various things may happen. The patient may, if necessary, remain under medical supervision. In some cases, the patient may return home even while he or she is still under the influence of a local anesthesia. More often than not, the patient simply returns to his or her hospital room. As you see, the epidural catheter is connected to this pump. Regional anesthesia can be administered over a period of several days using catheters connected to pumps, which allow you to administer the anesthesia yourself according to your own needs. You can inject an extra dose by using this button. Like this? Exactly. The analgesic team will visit you regularly to evaluate your pain or non-pain level with the help of this ruler and its sliding cursor. Let's try. I think I'm at this level. Good. That's a pain level of 2.5 on a scale of 10, which is reasonable. But if you are uncomfortable with that, you can always have an extra dose. All right. How did the operation go? It was fine. Good. I hope things go well and that you recover without any problem. Goodbye. Goodbye, doctor. <laughs>